The teen accused of carrying out Buffalo's deadliest mass shooting was back in court today. The 18 year old now indicted by a grand jury on first degree murder charges for what happened nearly one week after investigators say that he murdered 10 people because of their skin color. The manager of that grocery store that was targeted in that shooting says that the suspect had been in that store at least a dozen times since March. We know that he will be back in court in three weeks. Tonight, dozens of people in our community showing solidarity with the people of Buffalo. Fox 40's Garsh Paul Sanga is live in downtown Sacramento where a vigil, Garsh Paul, for those victims uh, took place earlier tonight. Yeah, Eric, and that vigil is over, but that memorial still remains here at Ali Yusefi Square. You can see the candles still lit up, flowers and photos of the victim, victims who were killed in the Buffalo mass shooting. Now, a small group this evening stood in solidarity and demanded more be done to protect innocent lives and not just when it fits a narrative. We want to show our children in 2022 it is safe to go to the grocery store. It's a sight that is all too common across America at this community healing vigil in downtown Sacramento. The frustration level is at all time high. We Standing in solidarity and honoring those who lost their lives to senseless gun violence thousands of miles away. Coming nearly one week since the deadliest mass shooting in Buffalo's history, where investigators say 10 people were killed and three were injured when a gunman opened fire. Authorities are calling the killings a hate crime. President Biden called it domestic terrorism, but people here calling for more action to protect the black community. How can we continue to thrive when we are focused on surviving? In a 180 page document, the suspect, 18 year old Peyton Gendron, stated he wanted to kill people of color because he was afraid they were, quote, replacing white people. Talk about gun violence that's affecting America. Racism is still affecting America. And for all those individuals that continue to try to say that racism is no longer a thing. So what was this thing? Let's discuss that. At this healing vigil here at Ali Yusefi Square, it's just a few blocks away from where that K Street shooting happened, where six people died more than a month ago. And the people here frustrated how those two shootings are being characterized. The mass shooting here in Sacramento was immediately classified as gang violence. Every time there's a white domestic terrorist that takes the lives of multiple people, they are deemed mentally unstable that the things that have played out throughout the nation eventually plays out here in Sacramento. And back at her life and many people saying tonight that they are tired of having this conversation and that more action is needed. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Garge Paul Sunga, Fox 40 News.